know. I don't want to buy a 27-year membership in your gymnasium. Hello? No, this is not Feinblatt's Deli. Hello? No, I don't want a subscription to Pigeon Breeders Monthly. I already have one. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Yes, I know I'm out of shape, and I still don't want to buy a 27-year membership in your gymnasium. John's trying to come up with an idea for a new comic book for Mr. Parker. Huh? The phone again! Oh, it's not going well. I don't care who you are or what you want. Whatever it is, I'm not going to buy it. Stop calling me, you idiot! Stop! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Barker. <clears throat> I just called to see how that new idea is coming, Arbuckle. It's... it's... I'm sorry, Mr. Barker. The phone keeps interrupting me. I can't think. John can't oh. think. There's late-breaking news. Oh, I understand. Why don't you do what I do, Arbuckle? Get away! Go where there's no phone. I'd love to, but, well, I can't afford a trip just now. Hey, I just acquired an old house up in the mountains. My business manager bought it cheap as an investment. I haven't been to see it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a phone. I can go up there and work and I won't be interrupted all the time? <laughs> Great! Make arrangements for Arbuckle to stay in that house I just bought. But isn't that house supposed to be haunted? This is great. I have to go pack. Oops. Forgot to eat my pizza. Hey, you can forget to eat your pizza, but I won't forget to eat your pizza. Oh. The phone won't bother me. Nothing will bother me. And we won't leave until I get a terrific idea for a new comic book I can present to Mr. Barker. <laughs> No, I'm not worried about running out of food. You know that catering truck that's always down the street at the construction site? Uh-huh. While John was packing, I added on a little. Well, take a look. <coughs> hmm, Mr. Barker's secretary said the key was under the doormat. Hey, don't act so happy, Odie. I happen to know that this is... a haunted house. Just take a look at the title of this episode. Could I have a copy of the script we're doing now, please? The Garfield Show, episode 202, The Haunted House. <laughs> We better get inside and rest up. Looks like a big chase scene on page nine. Thanks. Oh, this is great. There's no phone to ring and interrupt me. I can work without being disturbed. I don't have an idea yet, but once I get one, watch out. Oh, don't worry, Pop. Ghosts can't hurt you. They can only make you hurt yourself. <laughs> Garfield, is that your stomach rumbling again? Oh, uh, uh, just in case, let's see what the internet has about ghosts. <laughs> Just a second. I'm scolding the pooch here for waking me up when I was dreaming about Manicotti. As I was saying, you woke me up with North. <laughs> 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 
Oh, do you remember I said we had a big chase scene on page nine? Uh-huh. This is page nine. <laughs> I still don't have a good idea for a new comic book. But at least the phone isn't ringing and there's nothing to disturb me. Except for my nutty cat and dog. Huh? What are you two doing? You two are acting like you saw a ghost. Huh? There's no such thing as ghosts. But he's right here. Open those overly large eyes of yours and take a look. He can't see me. I know there's no such thing as ghosts because I looked it up on the internet. And nothing you read on the internet is ever wrong. <laughs> now leave me alone so I can work. I still need an idea. Oh my. You saw the ghost. Uh-huh. I saw the ghost. Uh-huh. Why didn't he see the ghost? Because he couldn't. Human beings can't see ghost cats. We're only visible to other cats and pets of extremely low intelligence. I have to haunt this house for all eternity, or until I get a human to believe in those ghost cats. Well, isn't haunting a house a good job? No! It's boring. Especially when you go 50, 60 years with nobody inhabiting the house. I want to be with my friends, the other ghost cats. They've gone on to another, more interesting place. Huh? I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to scare that friend of yours until he believes in ghost cats. And I'll help you. Come on. Hmm. Maybe a superhero who throws coleslaw at people. No, it's been done. Okay, I've got an idea. Now here's what you do. You come and send me a summer bottle. Yeah, that'll make him believe in ghost cats. <laughs> That's cute, Garfield. But it's not going to make me believe in ghosts. That's not funny, Garfield. <laughs> 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 He's never gonna believe. We're not giving up. You need to be with your friends, and I need to be where there's Chinese food. <laughs> you can stop making those silly noises, Garfield. There are no ghosts. Ah. Uh -huh. uh Don't get my new shirt wrinkled, Garfield. And there are still no ghosts. <laughs> Very cute, Garfield. But there are still no ghosts. It says so on the internet, remember? It's no use. He'll never believe in ghost cats. Oh, yes, he will. I'm going to have a brilliant idea. You are? Yes. Let me just check the script and see what it's going to be. Uh, can I borrow a copy of the script for this episode again, please? <laughs> scene 19, scene 20. Hey, <laughs> that's a good idea I'm gonna have. Follow me. Thanks. John's not gonna believe in ghost cats until he sees a ghost cat. <laughs> but he cannot see me. No, but he'll see me. <laughs> Oh, it's no use. I'll just have to tell Mr. Barker I don't have an idea for a new comic book. It's, it's a ghost cat! It's a ghost cat! A human being believes in ghost cats. I'm free! Huh? 
So I'm up here in the mountains getting a look at this house I bought. One of my cartoonists is staying here and I... No! Oh! Ah, Buckle, what's the meaning of... A ghost cat! A spooky, terrifying ghost cat going boo, boo, boo! Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Barker. And I haven't been able to come up with... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. A ghost cat? That's a terrific idea for a new comic book. It is? Kids like ghosts, kids like cats. Ah, <laughs> Buckle, you're brilliant. So, according to the script, John sold his boss a new idea, and our friend the ghost cat is freed from haunting this place. Ah, <sighs> a happy ending. But not happy enough. Huh? Wide shot. Vito's Pizza Truck pulls up in front with loads of steaming hot pizzas for the clever cat. Hey, every script can use a few improvements here and there. Uh, keep scrubbing, Odie. <laughs> one cold and rainy stormy night. I know because I was there. Odie, no one cares if you were there. The point is that I was there. Okay, now where was I? Oh, right. The nightmare began with the arrival of some unannounced night visitor. Who could that be at this time of the night? Ivy! <laughs> Are you gonna invite me in, Jonathan? Or am I expected to stand out here all night in the rain? I vote for all night out there in the rain. What a... delightful surprise, Aunt Ivy. Uh, please, come in. <laughs> um, uh, what brings you here? Suitcase. Not a good sign. The tree fell on the power line outside my house. They said it might take a week before power returns, so here I am. Huh? I see you still have those two mangy creatures. Full of germs, you know. Yes, yes, full of germs, very contagious, and sickening germs. Yeah. Well, at least it covers some of her face. with those cute fuzzy bunny slippers you bought me. <laughs> They're alive! <laughs> Ridiculous. No one with half a brain could actually wear such pathetic looking slippers. Uh, actually, I happen to own a pair just like them. You just made my point. That's an Ivy one, John nothing. <laughs> bunny slippers. Bah, people should wear sensible slippers like mine. Slippers that look like giant carrots. And <laughs> <laughs> Ivy's right. This movie is silly. Let's call it a night. Hey, just when it was getting interesting. And Ivy, uh, why don't you take my bedroom? I was already planning on it. Mm. Just make sure those animals sleep outside. They're filthy and germ-ridden and... Ah! <laughs> Odie! You fetched my bunny slippers. Uh, hey, Aunt Ivy, don't they look just like the ones from the movie? Ah! I am not going to bed until you get rid of those abominable things. <laughs> Relax, Aunt Ivy, it was just a movie. Get rid of them! <sighs> All right, but bunny slippers can't hurt you. No. 
But having a fat lady fall on you can. <laughs> Set one paw in my room, and you'll be sorry you ever met me. It's a little late for that. Night, guys. Bodhi, fetch. <laughs> Is everything all right? Oh, the bunny slippers are after me! <laughs> They're not there anymore. There's nothing out there, Aunt Ivy. I know what I saw. It must be your two mangy pets playing tricks on me. Garfield and Odie? Do you really think they do something rotten to you? <laughs> I must have been dreaming. I thought I saw. <sighs> Night, Aunt Ivy. Good night, guys. I need to get some sleep. Maybe these earplugs will make that possible. What? Have to leave so soon? We'll hurry back. Like around the turn of the century. Hey, you guys deserve an Oscar for the best special effect. We had a deal. Oh, sorry. Huh? Here you go, Squeak. This was a good deal. You got anyone else you want scared <laughs> out of here? Wow, you guys are getting really good at this. Garfield, we're not doing anything. <gasps> the bunny slippers. And Ivy, Garfield, Odie. <laughs> Are you guys trying to tell me something? Behind you. Yeah, right. Like they're gonna believe a guy who calls up and says, I want to report a pair of evil bunny slippers. What? Give me the address. We'll be right over. Jacobs, we have a 743 on our hands. Oh no. Evil bunny slippers. Let's roll. Be careful, man. Remember how you've been trained for just this situation? Area is secure. Roger. Your tax dollars at work. Hey, I know you. You're that mad scientist who once sucked my cat into the TV set. Huh? The animators are reusing another character design from last season. Do you know anything about these sinister bunny slippers? Of course! I'm a mad scientist! 
We know everything! But we kept it secret so as to not cause any discomfort to the population. How very thoughtful of you. The bunny slippers only come alive on the blue moon nights, which happen once every 2.55546 years. So bunny slippers come alive on blue moons? Not only that, they also tend to... <laughs> ...tend to grow at an alarmingly exponential rate. Not to worry, daylight will return them to their harmless original selves. And according to my calculation, the sun will rise in exactly five hours. <gasps> five hours? The entire town will be destroyed in five hours. We've got to do something. <sighs> <laughs> Goodness gracious! This could indeed do the trick! The all-night tanning salon? That's on the other side of town! We need some kind of bait! And there's the perfect bait standing right in front of you. Huh? Why are you all staring at my beloved carrot slippers? <laughs> Get me down! Let me loose! Or I'll have you arrested! Tanning salon. For my vacation, I'd like to go somewhere that's as cute as I am. But there isn't any place that cute. Garfield, what are you doing here? Normal. You know how I'm always telling you to leave. Well, this time it's for your own good. But I haven't finished my tropical style fur tan. What? Please, I'm just a cute, innocent. Listen. Meow. 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 I think it's time for a little summer glow. And from their throats came this howl, a wailing shriek, half of horror and half of fear, utterly inhuman and. Garfield, you are totally making this up. Absolutely not. That's normal. All true. Every word of it. The following day, the police went door to door and collected every pair of bunny slippers in the neighborhood, just to be on the safe side. But of course, the best part was... After what you and that cat of yours did to me, I'm never coming back. Not in a million years. That means like about eight weeks. Hey, but I'll take what I can get. So until then, we live happily ever after. Uh, great, Garfield, but isn't that another blue moon like in your story? Who cares? The bunny slippers are all gone, right, Odie? 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 Since half past the beginning of time, men have had wishes. Dreams of wealth, power, love, and all that can be desired. Tales are told of magic forces that turn wishes into reality. One such tale involves a bejeweled bottle, a magic genie, and three wishes. It is a tale told time and again, and told this day about a man named John Arbuckle. <laughs> 
Odie seems to be having a good time. Don't go too far, Odie! How are you enjoying the beach, Garfield? Oh, it's not so bad. Especially when you bring everything you need from home. You can do this if you have a truck and a 10-mile extension cord. <laughs> The puppy dog was there when a glistening huh? bottle washed up on the shore. Huh? Oh. It was so attractive, so magical, that he had to take it back to his master. Sorry I have to get back to the clinic. Bye, Liz. <laughs> what did you find, boy? <gasps> huh? I can't make out most of the writing, but there's something on here about unleash the genie, three wishes. <laughs> you find silly stuff on the beach. Sure do. <sighs> three wishes? Give it to me. It's mine. I got it. It's mine. I got it. Garfield, do you think it's possible? Three wishes. I know just what I'd wish for. So do I. Riches beyond compare. <laughs> Fame all around the world. <laughs> and success in everything I do. Lasagna. More lasagna. And even more lasagna. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? No, no, not here. Let's take it home and open it there. Oh, wait. What about the... Nah, never mind. We can just wish for new ones. John Arbuckle hurried home. And there, he decided to do a bit of research before uncooking the bejeweled bottle. So with my first wish, I'll wish for a million more wishes. And just before I use all of them up, I'll wish for another million. And another, and another. It says here that the legend of the genie in the bottle goes back thousands of years. Some genies are good and some are bad. Oh. To get rid of a bad genie, you hey, must... never mind that. I have my first 193 wishes all set to go. All right. Here goes. Ah, <laughs> oh, is right, pup. I haven't been so disappointed since John made eggplant parmesan. Well, it was kind of a silly dream. Imagine, a magic genie in a bottle. Come on, I'll go make us some eggplant parmesan. Who released me from the prison of the bejeweled bottle? Oh, I did, I did. My name is John Arbuckle, and for my first wish, I would like... Silence! I am Omar! Omar? What kind of name is that for a genie? Thank you for releasing me, John Arbuckle. And now you shall grant me three wishes. Me? No, you've got it backwards. You're supposed to grant me three wishes. Silence! Yeah. Are you going to grant me three wishes, or do I have to turn you into a frog? What's your first wish? I want, I want lasagna! Hey, he took my wish. Lasagna? I have been locked in that bottle for hundreds of years. I'm hungry. Get me lasagna, 50 pounds of it. Lasagna? Well, at least I know how to get that. Hey, tall, dark, and smoky. You have all these magic powers. How come John has to get you what you want? 
I like being waited on. Okay, Dad, I understand. Beano, John Arbuckle, I need 50 pounds of lasagna. That's right, half my usual order. In no time at all, Omar's first wish was granted. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to eat that? Yes. Yes, your geniness, sir? Oh. For my second wish, I want dancing girls. Dancing girls? I can't find dancing girls. You want to be a frog? I can find dancing girls. Dancing girls, dancing girls. Where am I going to get dancing girls? Hello? Hi, Liz, it's me. Liz, would you like to do me a big favor? Soon, Omar's second wish was granted. Sort of. Very good. Very good. I vote yes! John, remind me again why I'm doing this. So your boyfriend doesn't get turned into a frog. Uh, I knew there had to be a good reason. Uh, Omar, uh, sir, uh, could we get your third wish over with now? Certainly. For my third wish, I would like <laughs> a million more wishes. <laughs> he keeps stealing my wishes. Huh? Yeah, I want more food, more dancing girls, and buy me video games, and cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Garfield, what am I going to do? Probably live on a lily pad and eat flies. <laughs> genie or no genie, I've got to stand up to him. Omar, whatever it is, the answer is no. I'm not granting you any more wishes. <laughs> You're right, Odie. I have to do something. The clever cat thought and thought. Trying to conceive a plan that would... Hey, lady! I'm trying to think here. Sorry. Odie, John found something on the internet earlier about how to get rid of a genie. Uh -huh. Come on! It took him but moments to find it. See here. To get rid of a bad genie, you must get him to say his name backwards. He will disappear, and you'll be granted one wish as your reward. Whoa! I even get a wish? But how do I get him to say his name backwards? I want more food! More food! That was when the clever feline got his idea. I got an idea. We're going down to Vito's to get more food. <laughs> <laughs> the cat and dog hurried to the place known as Vito's Pizzeria. There, they convinced the one named Vito to print up a special menu just for them. Then, they hurried home. Omar wants food! If I don't get my food wish soon, I'm going to turn someone into an aardvark! Bet you can't spell it. Here, Omar, a menu from Vito's. Just pick out whatever you want. I want everything! I want the spaghetti, I want the ravioli, I want the pizza, I want the ramo. What's ramo? Ramo is Omar backwards. Oh. <laughs> you tricked me. You tricked me into saying my name backwards. You'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. I'll turn you into a slug. Put a cork in it, fella. <laughs> He's gone, Odie. We'll take the bottle back and throw it in the ocean. And remember, Garfield, you have a wish. Thank you, narrator lady. Right, Odie. <gasps> I have a wish. I can wish for anything. I can wish for money. I can wish for lasagna. I can wish for money and lasagna. I can wish for power and fame and more lasagna and success and... Garfield. <sighs> but I guess I have to wish to get John back to the way he was. I wish. I wish everything was the way it was this morning. Mm. Oh, 
Odie seems to be having a good time. Don't go too far, Odie. How are you enjoying the beach, Garfield? <laughs> And so there is this lesson. Be careful what you wish for. You just may get it. Again, and again, and again. Looks like the mailman's putting that cheap gas in his truck again. Okay, stay still, will ya? No. No, no, you ain't going anywhere. You're staying with me. <sighs> my, my, aren't we jumpy this morning? Here, I have to deliver you. Huh? Oh. Here's your mail, Arbuckle. It's your problem now. Have a lousy day. Oh. <gasps> oh. Look, Garfield. A gift from my friend Pablo who lives in Mexico. Hmm, I wonder what it is. There's a very simple way of finding out. Open the package. It seems to be some kind of bean. Your friend Pablo is so generous. A bean. Maybe next year I'll send you an entire raisin. Huh. My friend Pablo sent me this bean, Odie. Huh. It's alive! Or it just had a bad case of the hiccups. Garfield, don't just stand there. Stop this, this, this bean thing. Hey, do I look like a bean catcher? I'm going to call Pablo and find out just what it was he sent me. Keep going, Odie, you're doing great. Notice the cat is too smart to do this kind of thing. What exactly is it, Pablo? It's bouncing all around my house here. <laughs> it is a Mexican jumping bean, mi amigo. I thought you would enjoy it. They're a lot of fun as long as nobody is stupid enough to swallow one. <laughs> Oh, no! I'll have to call you back, Pablo. Bodhi, are you all right? Uh-huh. Nothing wrong? Uh-uh. Oh, this doesn't look good. <gasps> Maybe not, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Catch him before he destroys the entire house! 
Good boy. No, you've got to get it. Hold on tight while I figure out what to do. No, don't. Just relax, Mr. Schnitzel. Tell Dr. Whipple what's bothering you. Well, I, I've been terrified by dogs since I was a little kid. And now it's gotten to the point where I see dogs everywhere. I can't even leave my home. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to understand, Mr. Schnitzel, dogs are perfectly friendly creatures. The dog is man's best friend. You have nothing to worry about. There! There! A dog! There's a dog outside the window! <laughs> what is it, Mr. Schnitzel? Out with it, man! I don't see any dog. We are, after all, on the 18th floor here. No, Mr. Schnitzel. I'd say you're suffering from your basic canine delusion. It's not uncommon. I once treated a man who insisted he saw Cocker Spaniels in his oatmeal. Poor fellow. Worst case of canine delusion I've ever seen. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Dogs outside an 18th story window? <sighs> well, what do you know? There is a dog outside my 18th story window. Could you at least bounce through Vito so I could pick up a couple of slices? Dog catcher Al at your service, Chief. I'm out here on patrol looking for stray mutts and pooches. Well, you better find one. You haven't caught a dog since last August, and that one turned out to be a stuffed toy. Dog catcher! Dog catcher! Oh, if I don't catch a pooch soon, the chief's gonna demote me to inspecting flea collars. Dog catcher! There's a scary dog with an enormous tongue roaming the city and terrorizing me. I mean, terrorizing people. Gary Dog? Where? In the skies. He just flew past my 18th story window? Yeah. Well, I think someone's gonna throw a net over you, pal. No, no, no. There he is! You sure it's a dog? He looks more like a kangaroo to me. You're a dog catcher? Do your duty and catch him? Sure thing. Here I go. All right, <laughs> calm down, Whipple. Just tell yourself, dogs are your friends. Dogs are your friends. Dogs are your friends. <sighs> there now, problem solved. I'll never be scared of dogs again. <laughs> ah! The dogs are after me. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Oh, how am I going to find Odie and Garfield? 
<sighs> Guess I'll just have to follow the trail of chaos and destruction. Look both ways before you bounce across the street. I hope I have the right area code for Mexico. Pablo, it's John again. What would I do if someone did swallow that bean? <laughs> Who could be that as stupid? But if someone did, the only solution would be to bounce it out of them. It would have to be a super bounce, however. Thanks, Pablo. Well, he was of no help whatsoever. I haven't had so much fun since kindergarten. Fired? Fired. Again. Hey. Glad that's over. The only question now is what we do with this. I think I have an idea. Next course, please. Thank you. I think I'll have some apple pie, and after that, we'll watch TV together. What do you say? Thank you, old bean. Hey, if it doesn't work out, I can always make soup out of it. 